So when we're prescribing a training plan, training phase to athletes, there's some things like you need to convey to them to make sure that they're on the same page as you. And so there's some other areas that work alongside your training plan to improve the overall fitness and performance. So that is like keeping signs, keeping track of fatigue, looking at the diet, injury strategies, technique, injury prevention strategies, like being honest, making sure the athlete's being honest with themselves, getting your advice, and always like remembering the plan, finding training partners or not in some cases. But these are really good things that you can push off to your athlete in an email or you know Facebook message just to go, hey, look, make sure when you're following this plan, if it's just a one-off plan that you've got, you've written and they're not in contact with you for like a month or a few weeks, just, just keep an eye on some of these things. All right, Matt. FAQs, how can I avoid junk miles in my training plan? The old junk miles. Yeah, I don't know about junk miles. Uh, miles is miles, if you ask me. But uh, as far as how it fits in a training plan is definitely going to change. Um, so junk miles doesn't mean we're not doing anything, but junk miles can be we're negatively affecting the rest of our plan. And that's really the way I see junk miles. Uh, what do you think? It's a yeah, it is a hard one because like, and like at at the scientific level, more training results in a greater stress, which results in a greater adaptation. And where junk miles fits in to that, I think, is minimizing recovery time. So it's it's more like that's what I've put there. Like, ask yourself, what is the purpose of this? training because you need to look at it and go well it doesn't really have a purpose like i have these five sessions across the week and i'm only doing an extra one maybe for the sake of it and so are you minimizing your recovery time or ability to adapt and like i said in the previous one like i don't think recovery or rest is like the right word for us you know it needs to be super compensation day or like adaptation day uh and but anyway you're like junk miles that's the the main thing is like what's the point you know you don't want to be prescribing junk miles and you don't want as an athlete you don't want to be like just throwing away your training because you think more is better yeah i, th I always think of like the classic and this is where we have the podcast up so building a plan for steve is he always goes out and he goes too hard on his easy days so that means he's just recovering less the rest of the week so Junk miles to me is when you're doing that and just going way too hard on the easy days. And then it suddenly becomes junk in terms of a plan. So, um, yeah, but you're right. Totally agree. Yes. And that's like, what is the point of the session? Uh, because if, if it's an easy day, it's not, it's not junk, but it becomes junk when you start to, you know, go out with your crew and, and go too hard. Yeah. 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 That's when it becomes junk. Um, and does a training plan have to have a rest day every week? Go. It's nice to have a day off, right? <laughs> like we have days off in everything we do. I think it's I think it's important to have a rest day. But as we get into this super difficult period of training leading into our taper, we're probably going to take away some rest days. So I said short answer, no. Long answer, like it really, it, it's like anything it depends most yeah. of the time we're working with weekend warriors they they want to be fresh to hit their sessions in the weekend they want to be able to recover so like short answer like no like you don't need a rest day um within a plan but for the most people it's going to be prudent to put one in and whether they, <laughs> whether they like it or not okay so here is the podcast episode that i'm talking about where we built a training plan for steve he's training for a mountain bike race and also a half marathon and we show you our process for building that plan for steve so it's been a really popular episode and i think you should check it out we also have a video of us doing that exact podcast and we showed our screens dragging and training uh workouts and building this whole plan across six weeks for steve so if you want to see kind of how we approach this from a sports scientist coach perspective and how that we put these workouts together exactly how we talked about in this module go check